Welcome back to Dogtown. If you tuned in for the last episode, episode 54, you know we have a decision to make, and I think I finally made it. Our job was to collect the Biomon from an agent from the Brazilian intelligence agency named Banna. And we did that, but then there was this whole mess, just like Night City always provides uh, a client, Katya. She was tasked with interrogating Banna. Uh, we ended up letting her go, but now we need to decide what to do with Banna's Biomon. Uh, Anna, the intelligence agent who is in charge, says, please deliver it to me here at this hotel. While her colleague, Steven, says, please throw it away. You're going to cause a lot more issues than you think. And I think what we're going to do after reading through everything is we're going to side with Anna. Uh, simply because like she shot us straight through everything that that we've done so far on this mission. And Steven was kind of like treating us like a, a dipshit. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and return. We've got to scrap the biomonitor. You know that. No. They're arguing about it. Look the other way We're just going to tune in here. Time. Please. What's going on? The Brazilian government's holding a summit in Rio as we speak. With Sovoy. Do you know what that means? Ignore him. Just pass me the biomonitor. Their business is none of yours. Um. So we can inquire about it, right? I whatever. Here you go. Perfect. The data will make its way to every last agent and media outlet. Get ready for some fireworks. Oh, fireworks? Fuck. They I think they're going to get killed because of this. Too bad. It's done. Oh shit. I I'm leaving. I was never here. Understood. The door is wide open. Thank you, V. Your credit will find its way to you soon. Yeah, thanks. Uh, anyways, the, the 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 reason I made this decision was because we're Corpo V. My my, Banna's predicament is all over the hollow waves. There's no hushing it up now. Is yeah, that all? Well, their choice. Just hope they don't regret it. What matters is we've been compensated. Our work here is done. Nice. Okay. Uh, the reason why we chose it is we're Corpo V. We've got screwed over by major corporations. That's how our story started with Arasaka. Uh, Ana wants to take down the corporation as well for all the corruption. And I just imagined our RPG. We can relate with Ana a lot more than Steven. Uh, who just wants to play by the rules. We're here to m F shit up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what we're going to do. That's why we made the decision after reading, going back and reading all the shards. Uh, but now we're going to meet. Ooh. Let's just talk to him. My owner bought me from some junk dealers, revamped, reprogrammed, and finally infused me with her spirit. Adorable. Gape Earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb, or change my form whence all my sorrows come. The tree still planted in the unfinished part, not wholly vegetative. Okay, not great. Her heart. Uh, your programming sounds yeah ancient. What can I get you? Nothing, please. Here to see Alex. We're going to uh, the secret hideout, I think. I love that her and Reed have this like rigged up to identify with our camera systems. Anybody who's coming through. About time too. Nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. 
We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? We do. We want as much information as possible. Always. Who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket? Told him smuggled corpse. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds? Hell, might even learn something about so me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was articulate. She's a shapeshifter, by the way. She to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his dopamine. Spending big money on Kiss Luxury. Which is kind of his M.O. So, what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg. Pissed himself. Kind of well. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, Who's a good boy? Oh, okay. Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of a spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Ooh. Our guest subgroup, Ross Ulmer, engage in smuggling ops. Contraband regularly includes arms, drugs, cyberware, biohacking products. Large and well-armed group. Voodoo Boy subgroup led by A.O. Zarin. Uh, so not Mama Brigitte. Engage in uh, encryption of personal data run through the servers at, quote-unquote, stadium. Regular net running and tech support to bar guests. The scavs. Uh, what it says, basically they're dipshits primarily engaged in arms trafficking contraband is transported under the guise of humanitarian aid shipments. So just scumbag crap, scab, scum, same thing. I used to not like maelstrom, but I think, um, the scabs take the cake now. Uh, S oh, this must be Solomon on Wednesday. No, maybe not. TC shots from V on Tuesday. Update inventory sys A didn't show K involved. Okay, uh, let's put a pin in that. From Daphne to Johnston. Hey there, honey. Could you rustle up the kegs of beer? Short notice. Light stuff. Donna's birthday is coming up on Thursday. Speaking of, you ought to stick around for it. Caught her eye last time. Not to mention you and me can talk about the price spikes you've been running into lately. Sound good? Uh, the moth has film screenings. That's kind of cool. This is also from Daphne. Uh, next screening, tarantula. Uh, yeah, we could, but why? Gone with the wind, not your cup of tea. People still watching Gone with the Wind in 2077? That's epic. Uh, but I think B-movies can show us glimpses back into society. Just, okay, that's true. Gable's iconic line and all that. Uh, nostalgic. Okay. Right. Okay. Wizard of Oz. Old school. Okay. Uh, entrepreneurs. Dogtown. Uh, Luxor Heights. Necessary to make abundantly clear that all business ventures in Dogtown must adhere to bar guest structures. Uh, visit the office of business ops located in the Black Sapphire. Operating uh, unauthorized business such as I didn't know. Couldn't find the office. Uh, okay. It will be severely punished. New liaison officers at the Longshore Stacks, and that is a Gibson. Okay. Medical supplies. 
Uh, that's right. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that organized demonstrations of dissatisfaction are not only counterproductive, but prohibited. Interesting. We've parsed the intel from the Shard Somi gave him. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, Reed. Mission details on this. Dude, I mean... Alex nailed it. If anyone's to blame, it's Myers, not you. You might be right, but so am I. I didn't think uh, we were going to say that. Right. Our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue run. Because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Mark. She's dying. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, the kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. Okay. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. Interesting. The itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the black wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Love it. Plan. Let me hear it. This might be our best Hansen option and yet. And that as you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Hey, Marik and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach him. Oh, okay. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NC. An exploitable opening. For sure. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Alex will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your X-Flow route. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hanson? Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, Key to unlock in your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Wow. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? You can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen is set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the anywhere. And Songbird. We have to rescue him. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Are you gonna kill Songbird? I'd... 
Not sure we uh How much have you told we're confident in his answer. That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal. Want to make sure I'm clear. We're bringing Songbird free from Hansen's iron grip and seizing tech that's gonna save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hansen's visiting Netrunners. Disguise is our key to the op. Okay. One more Next time. Step. What was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunners' car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about nabbing the runners. Cover we got to do the rental car thing. Huh. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep. Saddled you with the Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think. Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will. Is that right? It's not wrong. So, we serve Hansen up on a silver platter. It'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways. We're royally fucked. Welcome Pretty to much, the yeah. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks? What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. <laughs> and so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station Fair enough. far near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. Stations. How do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Okay. Hack them. And it'll be open season on the run. Right, we could find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agencies got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, with them. Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. So no, anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Yeah. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. <laughs> it's a little Seriously, joke. Though, the tech just works. And we'll have your back the whole way. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. Yeah. We'll get right on it. Uh, do I need to say anything to read? Looks like he's deep in thought, doesn't it? Have a look here. What do we got? Looks like notes on the stadium. Okay. Uh, it's just like a synopsis of the stadium and its usage.
Just having a look around. Just like uh, at Lizzie's, we had that iconic weapon. That was just a door down that we didn't even notice. Ooh, I could sell. What you got in stock? This food and drink dog town's got to offer, huh? Let's sell some of our stuff. I know we've got quite a bit. Yeah, we do. Okay. Vendor doesn't have enough money. Okay. Uh, what do they? Ooh. Experimental supplement provides the biological building blocks for new neural synapses to rapidly form. It's almost like uh, Planet of the Apes stuff right here. You know, we're taking that. B, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. Tell me. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. Let's go. See what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Relic upgraded. How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I guess. Tweaking tech that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. Fair enough. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. So there's a second thing? Right. It's super important. Stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. Okay. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay. Whoa. But see you soon. Um. So we got some relic points from Songbird just now. That would. I'm assuming that's what the update to our tech is going to be. Um, I do want to stop here and just sell some more things. Looks like he's got 320 G's. So let's sell some of the non iconic items. I do like these bar gas weapons, uh, but because we have so many iconic ones, like we're never going to use it. We are never, ever going to use it. We're selling everything. I've been hanging on to this guy for a long time because we don't have an iconic one of those. Um, but it has a ton of... I want to take all the attachments off of that before we uh, before we sell it because we got a muzzle. We've got our hop up and a scope on that one. Okay, so we sold that. Uh, let's go ahead and run through here. Let's see if we can just clean this guy out, huh? Love it. Ton of clothes. I'm hanging on to David's jacket. If you haven't noticed. Okay. Cat food. Oh yeah, I forgot about our cat. Uh, we got a ton of stuff in there that we could sell. All that we could sell. We'll sell all the junk. We will confirm that. Uh, yeah, that gave us a pretty penny, didn't it? And lightened up our carrying load. Um, it says to come after dark. Meet Songbird between 11 p and 1 a.m. Okay. So this, I think, I think we should probably meet up with Songbird first. You know what I'm saying? Before we get into this, because she has a secret for us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so what else is on our to-do list? Takamura. We can ask Misty about the tarot cards. And then we can meet with the Paralas gang. What is it? It's 6.30 in the morning. Wow. Uh, access the tracking station trans receiver. Oof. I think we want to talk to her first, though. So let's uh, let's roll back over here and see what Misty's got. I know there's a we've got a little fast travel station here. Come quad for the soul. Gotta love that.
And yeah, we'll just put it right here. All right, maybe we'll stop by and see Vic too. You know, it's been a while. Man, we it seems like so long ago that we used to frequent this area. Our apartments is right over there. Uh, saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Well, if they did, it was lost on me. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. Judgment and the devil. Okay. This is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together. Discovered your potential. Where are we headed? Your destination is the world. The final Arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory or make peace. Could lose the war too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Yeah, she knows uh, that's what happened to Jackie. I'd rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm. Doesn't sound so bad, actually. Right? It also represents a false world. The trap these desires lay for you. I mean... What's this judgment about? One possible future of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era and the call to rebirth to a new beginning. Thanks. Didn't get much out of that, but thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die, not even get that far. Oh, come on. You won't let that happen. Take this. That's all I can do to help. What is it? Dreamcatcher? Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Hey, Misty. Happened upon some more murals. A little different. These can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what This you must be the ones you. that we found in Dogtown. So saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Mmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. Oh, something good? Well, the King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. Hmm... I saw this figure sitting there with, I don't know, a goblet, maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta King of be Cups. careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. Mm. And V, hun? The last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. Okay. So there was this figure seated holding this thingamabob like a club or scepter or something. The King of Wands? So that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Is this Hanson? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. 
So I saw a hooded figure, Star Wars pentagram behind him. Devil stealing's your area of expertise too. Mm, the King of Pentacles, having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that, dangerous fee. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard. I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Uh, thanks, Misty. I guess. I mean, that's. I gotta wrap my head around this. Two sides every coin. Find me if you need any help, B. You know, she's saying like, hey, this is this card's like really good. But it's also really bad. Johnny? What's he doing? Alright. These are net runners, but what are they? Oh, he's a NCPD net runner. Okay, interesting. Tiger claws over there. All right, on to our next adventure. Uh, we said we might stop and say hi to Vic, but we didn't. And we're not. We could meet with the paralysis. We could, because what time is it? It's only seven o'clock in the morning. Um. I mean, I don't really want to do that. This is the tracking station, but I want to just go into the night and, um, yeah, we want to meet with Songbird. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive there. I know it's kind of, uh, boring. The, where's our car? This thing right here, this bad boy. It reminds me of like an eighties Lamborghini. I think this is going to be the best race car, by the way. This thing has incredible handling. And see, PD's in a war right here. Nah. They seem to always be fighting, so we'll eventually get to that, right? So we used to drive the Hoon around all the time, which is the Ken Block uh, replica or... Are we turning here? I don't think we were. Yeah, we are. Uh, it's a tribute to Ken Block. That thing just has a really loose back end. So we're always sliding. It's like a fun car to drive to drift around town, do like trick stuff. But you can see like this car, like we'd be in, uh, we'd be fishtailing in the, in the hoon. But in this bad boy, we stick to the road. That's why I think this one's probably going to be like the best race car. Not super fast, but I mean, the big thing is, is in these races is more staying in the lead. Ronald Malone. Who the hell is Ronald Malone? Uh, voodoo boys heard they're arming up, getting ready for war. Like peeps are saying they got some underground factory where they're building robots and clones. so They can rise up against Hanson. Man, I'd write it off as the usual bullshit, but I got a Chum I trust saying a Netwatch agent's been hanging around. And Chum, if there's Netwatch, there's trouble. Maybe some truth to the talk. I forgot who Ronald Malone... Oh, I know who he is. Uh, he's a vendor in Dogtown. 
He knows what's happening. This car is pretty small too, so it's like super maneuverable. It just does not have the turning uh, response that we would like. be real with you i think we're gonna go uh just pass some time and meet with somi i because she says there's stuff that's secret like she might have some intel on reed she might have some intel on alex and before we do like too much maybe there's some insight into what's going down here because a lot of things aren't adding up i mean she's got some secrets too that's a uh... okay i guess why we're waiting so many of these damn things like how many iconic weapons are there for crying out loud guy's way over there isn't he i think we can just yeah have him die and there's always a sniper up here is that it some euro dollars on him okay this was not iconic but we did get a five plus plus ajax which i mean i guess i'll just go through here and have a look at what's tier five looks like a lexington i really don't think we need to do we this one's five plus plus oh we could upgrade our pit bull uh, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade some of these things. Uh, okay, these are all the things that we can upgrade. This gun's really cool, just like there's better ones. And I really do like the Ajax. So, yeah. Keep that guy going. All right. But that rebar. Okay, yeah, we can climb up there. Uh, for Dogtown, my favorite vehicle is going to be... Where is it? The good old Hellhound. I mean, I love this vehicle. Like, the minute we bought it, this was, like, the best vehicle possible. It's like the best in every situation. It's not a race vehicle. It's just like we could roll up on people, take some damage, pop out, 
kill some people. Oh, you're chasing us? Let's shoot a few rockets at them. That kind of thing, you know what I mean? Weird people out here, man. All right. Uh, we're going to skip time to, yeah, 10.53. Then we'll have seven minutes. These guys still sitting here. Let's see what this is all about. Kind of. Sure we're alone? Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Everybody's saying don't trust people, and then uh, she says she trusts us. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Oh yeah, we forgot to update our relic. Ooh, she's like controlling the electricity and everything. Come here after sunset. They do. I think we've killed some people here. Crack open beers. Talk about nothing in particular. Actually, very cool. I'd swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it, every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it. Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I was sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. Down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasted bump on their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He shit talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Hell yeah. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, B. By the time you realize you missed something, it's usually too late. Songbird, need you to be straight with me. I, I helped Hanson spring the trap on Myers. Okay. My end of the deal, in exchange for the neural matrix. I down the plane, deliver Myers, yes, but blast her out of the sky, then hunt her down, wasn't what we agreed. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was a plan. Didn't expect he'd blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. 
The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but... As soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up. I know, V. But I had no choice. Always got a choice, Song. Always. Did it. Not this time. From Myers, the NUSA, um, just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools. They don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Sounds painfully familiar. I think I know how you feel. I doubt anyone understands this feeling as well as you do, V. You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed, he died too. Just more recently, seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence, yet he serves the country to this day, clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Been one to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the Black Wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean, losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my club. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes I, I lose control. Or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too. The chimera. Like a living nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Why not just go home? My home burned down when I was forced to trade warm Brooklyn brick for sterile Washington walls. I have nowhere to go back to. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you, and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hanson as a trusty ally. Seriously? Means to an end, I think. I someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. Yep. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain donk one at that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one. Sorry. 
but I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission. Grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hanson. Oh my gosh. And then... You help me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask, you're in this because you understand me, or because I promised to save your life? <laughs> uh, we could just say yes. Um, I mean, we do understand her. We get it. We don't trust her. I mean, she just dicked over the uh president of the united Pretty states clear, i need to survive too i appreciate your honesty <sighs> i guess that's all i suppose you should call reed let him know all set for the meet with hansen oh my gosh and another like ripple in this story of like we have to make a decision of who we're going to team with i mean we were looking for options but now it's becoming kind of overwhelming you know what i'm saying look at that another drop right here Oh man, God, the the thing that I'm struggling with here is Songbird was trusted and the president and Reed, they care for her. And I'm putting that in quotations. Yes, she's a tool to reach beyond the black wall, but they care about Songbird. You may want to rescue her and they want to make sure she's okay and she's just trying desperately to escape that uh she thought kurt hansen was a means to an end so she partnered him knowing like how much of a monster this guy is and i mean what's to say that we are not the exact same thing a means to an end that we do this for songbird and she just I mean, she's just looking for an answer herself. You know what I mean? So at some point we've got to, I, I think we just got to make decisions for ourselves here. You know what I mean? We do need to give Reed a call. So we'll go ahead and do that. Reed, status report. Reed. Hey, I'm Nova. Thanks. How are you? Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Then we'll have time to chat for now. Fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. Just it's gonna kind of walk around while we're filling him in. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. I don't know if we feel reading that car tracking. So get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately. Yeah, we'll do. You can see, uh, you know, those tarot cards kind of fill us in. Uh, and, you know, I was thinking about the King of Cups, and I think that might be Reed about how he's like painfully loyal 
to what he's doing even though they like screwed him over and still that's what he's doing so i'm not sure like we trust reed we don't fully trust silverhand we don't fully trust songbird um i mean it's it's a crazy world we're in right now um we've got a decision to make so what we're gonna do guys we're gonna digest this uh episode here uh in between episodes i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna kill some people i'm gonna see what's in the box uh but then what do we got what's on the agenda uh we'll probably just stop right here this will be our next uh mission is starting to uh get tracking on these twins and and going through with the plan uh thank you guys so much for being here if you're liking the series show some love leave a like leave a comment if you got some insight into this story maybe you're forming your your own opinion here uh let's talk about it jump into these comments uh don't spoil anything this is our first playthrough we've never done this before so we like to discover things on our own um but if you got anything uh, if you're following along with the story first time as well or have never seen some of these things play out go ahead and jump in here let's talk about it and until next time guys we'll see you for episode 56 here in Dogtown. <laughs>